Good morning, sweeties. Happy 25th of January, 2022. Uh, this is vlog number nine. So cheers, we have our coffee. We've done our, I've done my morning skincare routine. So I thought we'd have a little chat uh, while I do my eyes getting ready for work. Uh, so yeah, so cheers, let's have some coffee. Mm. Mm, good. All right, so anyway, a couple things. So yesterday I had to go and see the skincare doctor and I had this really like weird lump on my leg. Um, I've had that lump for, I'm gonna say about, about 10 months. It arrived before I got married and we used some special ointment that the doctor had prescribed and it didn't it didn't do anything so for the wedding and it was this red so it's probably about the size like the size of my nail um and it came out of my skin maybe like two three mil it was weird i don't know how it i don't even know how i got it but it was just there so anyway for the wedding I ended up, because it red and I was wearing white stockings, I ended up covering it in a, um, in a, just a, like a circle band-aid, because I wanted to hide it, but I was wearing these kind of fairly opaque, um, like stockings, so it did hide it but if I hadn't have put the band-aid on you probably would have seen seen through because it was quite red so um I had asked my doctor about it when I saw him the other day and he said look go see the you know mole what we call mole um mole scan is one of our I guess skin places um so he said to go and see this doctor and i did that yesterday morning so um yeah now i went there completely thinking that he's gonna look and be like oh i need you to come back you know like i just thought it was gonna be i guess like a consultation and but no he's like yeah we're gonna take that and send that off for a biopsy um so yeah that was that was like oh so yeah so he stuck a, a needle in my leg which hurt oh and he said this is gonna be uncomfortable it can be quite painful yeah yeah it was mind you as i said to him it's not the worst needles that i have had and over my years of dealing with um, when I had had the cancer and dealing with all the cancer stuff, uh, when I got the tumor, dealing with that, when I had my um, surgery for my sleeve, like when I had the sh shoulder op, like I've had a lot of needles. I've had a lot of blood work. I've needles don't bother me but at the same stage there are levels of good <laughs> and bad and all i can say is that that one yesterday that was not good that that was up there not as i said to him it's not the worst that i've had but um it certainly was very uncomfortable hurt a lot so um so yeah but anyway he uh he took that one showed me 
So I got to see the underside of it, which was, it wasn't gross, but it was like, oh, okay, all right. So um, he felt that he wasn't too concerned, but he wanted to make sure that when, you know, he wanted to send it to make sure. So make sure that there's nothing Nothing bad, and obviously with my history of cancer and my family history of cancer, you know, want to rule out for sure that there's, um, that it's nothing, you know, nothing really bad. So he sent that, but when he put that in the vial and he came back, he said, you know, I don't like that little mole. So I had another little mole, which I've had there for years. I don't even know how long I've had that mole. Like, I can't even think how long I would have had that mole. A long time. He said, I do not like that one. Grabbed out his little skin checker, I'm guessing. Had a look and he goes, yeah, I really don't like that one. And I was not prepared for that <clears throat> anyway he said i'm gonna take this one and we're gonna send this one to pathology because he kept saying i'm really not happy with that one so i was like okay do what you need to do right but um yeah so another needle <laughs> was no better than the first needle I must admit, absolutely no better than the first needle. And he showed me that underside. Um, you know, he said, can you see how it's got a point on it and all these little, so he, again, it was intriguing. But um, yeah, so he sent two of them, those two, to pathology. So now I have two wounds on my left leg. This is also my bad knee side. <laughs> and um, I have two bandages that I have to keep on for three to four days. But uh, he said, no, I wanted to see you Thursday morning. Uh, he wants to check the wound and hopefully we'll have the results back from that so yeah so that's my that's my fun bit fun i'm using that in a very broad sense of the sense of the term um but that's that's what uh, i did yesterday and then i went to work um so obviously having skin cut out is uncomfortable. Uh, so he just said to take painkillers. So I did end up taking um, pain, some painkillers, um, just some Panadol as well as my other one that's a little bit more stronger. That's got, uh, I'm gonna say it's got a little bit of codeine in it. Not my full codeine one. <laughs> The full codeine one that I take will normally kind of knocks me out and I can't have that for work. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I took the Panadol and this lighter one, which seemed to get on top of the pain. So that was, that was good. So yeah, so that's what I did yesterday so now we just we wait which is a fun bit so I'm just gonna go light today with the with my eyes I'm thinking I'm using this Maybelline lemonade craze this is one of my I want, really like the colors in this it's got lots of different you know with the yellows the apricotties browns the pinks but maybelline is not cruelty free so i will not be buying this one 
again uh, but again you know I'm using up what I've got I need to stop buying makeup <laughs> mind you I did find some new skin um, sunscreen which is supposed to be coming today I found that on Amazon they're both um, brands I've not tried before so that'll be interesting to see how that goes um what do I feel like I feel like we need a little bit of what do we feel like in there we've got this um, light let's go in with we might I think so I put the I can't read sweet tea so I've put the sweet tea this one which is in this area here I am thinking we might go with this one which is called ice pop ice pop so I'm gonna put that in the corner a little bit of color let's do a little bit of color in the corner of my eye let's not drop that Kim just a little bit there we go so yeah now the other thing what else did I do oh Tom and I went to the went, I had to go to the shops um, on Sunday afternoon and I had to grab a couple of things we got a new little cat tower for Cozzy that he's put on top of one of uh, like his bedside table Tom's bedside table and um, that way Cozzy can we're hoping that that way that'll give him some height and he can hop up there and you know maybe be able to see out the window so anyway he I don't know if he's tried that yet so so anyway we picked it up from Kmart which was okay but while I was there I also which I'm excited to try let me show you <clears throat> I got this little, it's called a vlogging kit. This was from Kmart. It was on special. It was like 40% off. So it's got a little microphone. It's got, you can hold it. So if you want to do like selfie stuff um, like that, it's got a little light, which on won't turn directly but it's got a little light and the camera will sit in here it's got a microphone I had to get an adapter for my for my phone so that will plug in so I've tested it with just doing video for me to see and then these will come out like this so it can sit on the desktop and I can tighten it let's lose so this part will adjust so I'm hoping that like when I'm doing some cake stuff it can sit and better record and show what I'm doing when I'm like baking and, and doing that. I think it was normally $39, it was down to 22. So I thought, you know what, let's let's do it. Cause some of the ones that I was looking at were like $170. I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> like, mm, I'm not really sure about that. So, um, so yeah. Okay, strawberry lemonade. That looks. I'm gonna put this little strawberry lemonade just for a little bit of sparkle. 
just nah. and the base I did the base in this one here which is all over so sherbet sherbet alright so I'm just gonna pat that on top just to give it a bit of a shimmer I don't know if you can see but So yeah, so that's what uh, that's what I've been doing. Okay, so I've done my eyebrows. I've put my eyeliner on, which I haven't completely butchered. So yay. Um, one thing I don't remember if. I had mentioned this, but decided every time I open a new skincare, a new product, I'm going to put dates on things. So, um, so this was the mascara. So I've got little dates on things. That way better control, I guess, like this one, and the date. So I'm just using a little bit of, um, I don't know, just a little sticky label that I've been cutting up just so I know where I am with products. So I figured start doing that, try and keep on top of it, we will see how we go with it but yeah that's what I thought might help me anyway so I have got the stand that I'm going to test, see how this goes. Um, you can probably hear the birds, you can probably hear all the noises. Um, I'm sitting out, I've finished my makeup, I've finished my hair, so that's all done. We've got our coffee, we're sitting out near the pool, I've got time before work so we will have more coffee but the other thing I got was my package my package arrived so I thought we might well open it and see what we got so these are the new sunscreens that I've got this one's made in Australia so hey I'm vegan mineral sunscreen SPF 50 plus it is 100% vegan it is made in Australia reef safe cruelty free so looks like that and the other one so yeah, I've not heard of that brand. So cool. Um, they were on special and I was like, yeah, we'll give that a go. The other one is called G'day. <laughs> oh, got a kangaroo on it. And this is also a zinc sunscreen SPF 50 plus. Um, yeah, made in Australia, and this is also cruelty-free. I don't know if it's classed as vegan. I can't read it properly, but...
but um but yeah they're the two new ones that i've got to try so you know what let's have a look oh it's got cool it's got a little little thing on it let's have a look and i can't get it out Anything. So it feels very thick. Might need to get a pin. Hmm. Interesting. No, it doesn't want to come out. Okay, I might need to get a pin for that one. Taking it off. Apply liberally. Yeah. It feels it feels very thick. Let's have a look at this one. This one's got a little thing on it as well. There goes the pool filter. That is thick as well. Okay. I wasn't, I wasn't really sure. Maybe it's is that a zinc thing? Hmm. Definitely. Okay. Well, I mean, it dries clear. So, so that's good. But maybe that's, maybe that's a, a mineral thing. I don't know. I, I cannot... using all my muscles to try and do that it is oh that is yeah that is very thick okay all right we will see well i mean they both they both come down to clear so that's good. Don't really have too much of a smell. That's um that's good. But we will try them and see. So Yeah. So that's my new sunscreen to play with. These ones. We will see. We'll, I'll test them out and see if I like them. Okay. Well, on that note, I guess I really should get myself dressed because I'm still in my pajamas and uh, head to work because it's nearly that time. Anyway, uh, for everybody, I hope you have a really great day today and it's nice and sunny here. It's probably going to be hot <laughs> as it is. Um, but yeah, just again, for those coming on the journey, thank you. For those that have stopped in, hi, and thanks for stopping in. Uh, like and subscribe if that's what you're into. That would be awesome. And if not, that's awesome too. So yeah, other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day today. And uh, we will see you in the next one. Okay, cheers, bye.